Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Pop Insanity popcorn. This was sent to us from the company, uh, thankfully, so that is awesome. They are located in New York. Uh, popinsanity.com is their website. We have the sweet and salty, the classic caramel. A uh, blueberry scone and a uh, toasted cookie. So, these bags are so cute and they're called cuties. The very cute little bags. They are, uh, let's see, they are 2.5 ounces and they are uh, $2.95 per bag on their website. So the sweet and salty popcorn uh, is, uh, has the perfect balance of sweetness and salt and just the right crunch. Half a cup or 28 grams is 90 calories. There's how many grams in the bag? There's 2.5 ounces. Okay. So you would have to weigh one of these right. bags. So, um, so yeah, you're going to have to weigh it to know uh, what you get, how much you get for that's your usually, That's most of these you have to weigh. Well, the second it touched my tongue, I got a little salt. That's wonderful. That's a good texture, too. It's got a... Uh, it's a very thin coating of like this crunchy, sugary kind of texture. And I love the salt. Got a good amount of salt You on get it. salt on every piece and yep. sweetness from every piece. And like Kevin said, that um, layer of sugar, that coating mm -hmm. on the outside, it's wonderful. Um, this is the kind of popcorn that, that usually doesn't have as many holes. It's the It's got a really big, fat piece of popcorn and it's got these little big legs that stick out. That's why it always looks like a little creature. This is the kind of popcorn that, that's really good high-end popcorn that doesn't have a lot of holes. I've had, the reason Kevin's saying that is because I've had people ask me, well, what is the difference between uh, difference. The, the holy popcorn and, because we tell you, we try to let you know, because people do not like getting all those holes in yeah. their teeth. We don't either. Uh, I mean, so, I don't know what it's called, but it's a certain, there's a certain kind, it's called something. There are different kind. kinds of corn that do yeah. that, and so this is a good quality corn. Yeah. Uh, so this is the classic caramel. I love a good caramel popcorn. It is rich caramel coated popcorn sprinkled with Mediterranean sea salt. Half a cup, 28 grams is 130 calories. So we've gone from 90 to 130. Oh yeah, I don't doubt it. Oops, I'm spilled. The coating's a little harder, but I think it's a thicker coating too. Harder than the first one? Yeah. Right. But I think it's a thicker coating. Now this caramel uh, tastes like a burnt caramel. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Not like. in a bad way. I like it. There's a very super, super sweet caramel. Mm -hmm. And there's, maybe there's a better way to say it than burnt. We always say burnt caramel. Yeah, it, but it, we don't mean anything negative about no, it. But it has like a little more of a... It's, yeah, it's cooked a little longer. It's mm -hmm. darkened up a little bit more. But now we like that. So I, like I that mean, part. yeah, no complaints, but yeah. that's just what we call it. Mm -hmm. But it's no, that's delicious. Really good. You know what? One of the things I like, there's two things I like about it. It's not really sticky, so it's not sticking all in your teeth. Like I've had caramel before, it's like stuck everywhere. Right. Um, it's also not quite as overly sweet as some caramel corns are. It it's is very, very sweet, sweet but, but I've had yes. some that was like over the top sweet. And I think that comes down to that scorched flavor. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like that a lot. Okay, so blueberry scone. Yeah, this one is interesting. And it is bake shop inspired popcorn bursting with blueberries, hints of lemon, and a white chocolate <laughs> drizzle. Half a cup, 28 grams. We've gone up again, 160 calories. Yeah. Okay, them, it smells delicious. Them having this makes me wonder, do they have a strawberry shortcake? That Maybe that's a special edition. Do they have a lemon, just like a lemon uh, lemon drizzle? Uh, do they have like a key lime pie? <laughs> do they have, for Christmas, do they ever do red velvet? Do they ever do eggnog? Do they ever do gingerbread? Um, you know, I'm gonna have some blueberry on. You gotta try one of these. I was just showing you the blueberry if you stole it. Uh, there are actually blueberries in this. I know, that's why I was showing you. 
That's what I was holding it up for and you stole it. You stole my blueberries. I really like that blueberry flavor. It's, I do too. It's um, But there is a lemon citrusy kind of flavor there too. Yes, and, and sometimes, I've said before um, in videos, I've said I really don't like the blueberry lemon combination. Right. Um, I remember we did that uh, scoop cake and I said mm -hmm. I didn't like that. that. Those particular flavors, I didn't. But there have been times where I have liked the combination when the lemon wasn't so overpowering. Or this tart. Is, yes, this is one of those times where it actually goes together. Yeah, it's a sweeter so, lemon. Yes. Yeah. It, it's almost like a, it's almost um, um, cake frosting kind of lemon. And I like the pieces of blueberry. They give it a mm -hmm. chew. Uh, so there's a little, there's a different texture there to chew on. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. So lastly, we have the toasted coconut, which Kevin and I both love coconut. Rich caramel coated popcorn drizzled in decadent dark chocolate and finished with a hint of toasted coconut. Half a cup, 28 grams is 160 calories. Well, you can have that piece if you want it. You can oh, I'm it. not. I'm allowing you to have that one. You're not stealing that one. You stole my blueberries. There's more blueberries in there. There's a lot of blueberries in that I'm bag. Just playing. Mm. That is nice. That's pretty good. You absolutely get coconut though. Mm -hmm. And it's followed up with a little bit of that chocolate flavor. I could have honestly you could have left the chocolate out completely for me and it wouldn't have been fun. And you still would have enjoyed oh, it yeah. just as much. I don't think there was anything to stick the coconut to though. <laughs> right. So the, yeah, the, the dark chocolate probably helps the coconut stick, but I do like that combination. Mm -hmm. It goes good to go. You, this is popcorn that you could be blindfolded and you could tell the flavors of each one. Mm -hmm. They they have so much flavor. Yeah. The but, first one, if you were to eat the first one blindfolded, you'd probably just say it's a kettle corn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you would say, it's a, you, I mean, yeah, you would get the sweetness and the saltiness. You wouldn't necessarily know that the name of it is sweet and right. salty. You would just say kettle corn. Right. Yeah, because that's what it's like. But I love kettle it's corn very good. anyway. Oh, yeah, all these are really good. And they're all delicious, but you, only, had to pick one? you only have money for one. Hmm. You have sweet and salty, caramel. Blueberry scone and I would coconut. probably pick. It's really close between. No, I'd pick the coconut. You pick the coconut. Although I'm really torn between that and the blueberry, because I really did like the blueberry one. Okay. Okay. And you wouldn't pick either one of those. I like them, but no, no. I would pick the sweet and salty, the first one. Well, I thought that too. The first one. That one's really good too. Because it's. But I just... want something different. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna spend the money. Right. I want something different. That's that's different than just and these are they're really good, but they're still caramel corn and right. Oh, they're classic. They're they're yeah. classic flavors. Yeah. yeah. So so if I'm gonna spend the money, I want something a little different. So I really right. like the coconut. I like that coconut flavor, and I'm left with coconut in my mouth when I after I've eaten it. So right. I really like that. Well, if when you go to their website, you will see they do corporate gifts. This would be a good place though to if you if you don't if you have somebody in your life where you know they love popcorn of course because this truly is good quality mm -hmm. and we're not just telling you this because they sent it to us no we're always on rachel had sent us some of this before um just a friend of ours and uh she has nothing to do with the company and we loved we it, it then um so i wouldn't ever tell you to shop somewhere if we really didn't like it but they have corporate gifts as well but this would be a good place to go if you're not certain um, about somebody's interest or uh, you know what to get for them for a gift this would be a good place to go because you can get uh, these for three dollars a piece and they're very, very good quality, and you're getting enough to really tell whether you like it or not. And then if they want to go back and get a bigger bag, they can. They sell medium-sized bags, they sell large bags, and uh, so I think this is a very good company. Good, good quality popcorn. Yeah, so I will have uh, the information that you need below, and thanks for watching.